everyone. Uh, I'm going to speak about the research paper Omni 3D. Omni 3D is nothing but a data set. Uh, it consists of the curated images from many popular data set. And also this research paper has a model called Cube RCNN model. It is used to detect uh, 3D objects from the 2D images. Myself, uh, Vivek. Yes, now uh, the long standing objective in our computer vision world is that uh, directing the 3D images from the given 2D image. Although there are uh, many algorithms in the data set uh, which is used to direct the 3D image, that might be domain specific or uh, there are many constraints to it. Uh, when we take an, uh, when we take a 2D image recognition into account, we have made a significant advancement, but uh, directing the 3D images from the given 2D image is still a challenge. Uh, so we are going to uh, create a 3D bounding box for the detected 2D image, which we are going to see. Yeah. The, till now, till date, uh, the modern researchers has focused on either the images which is taken on indoor or outdoor or domain specific, for example, self-driving cars. Uh, so a, they are uh, restrained and constrained to uh, one particular environment. Uh, there are many popular data sets, namely Sun, RBG, Hyperism, Objectron, uh, these are the few popular data set, which is quite well known. These research people have uh, has curated uh, many images from this popular data set and have created a wonderful data set called Omni 3D. This Omni 3D is the greatest benchmark till date for detecting the 3D object. Speaking about this Omni 3D data set, it consists of 200 thousand images approximately with 3 million objects in that images. It consists of 97 different categories of image in this data set. So creating this uh, large data set, uh, we have many challenges. Uh, quite few notable challenges are uh, the highly varying focal length uh, and uh, irrespective of domain, uh, and which is a diversified data set. All these are the major challenges. So now what we are going to see is uh, these research people have created a simple but effective and accurate model to detect the 3D objects from the 2D images. So here, uh, the important thing is they have added a 3D object head uh, to the existing uh, faster RCNN model, which we are going to see in the next few slides. So this is a framework. Uh, this is cube RCNN framework. Uh, let me explain how this works. Um, first, we will uh, give a image as an input and this will be uh, taken into the CNN framework. Uh, this cube RCNN is, uh, uh, has three important steps. That is RPN, 2D head, and 3D cube head. This RPN, and, RPN is nothing but regional proposal network. This will uh, create a region of interest. Region of interest is nothing but when there is an object in a image it will uh, detect that uh, so this rpn will create the region of interest uh, whereas this 2d cube uh, 2d head will uh, take the input from the backbone future map and it will process all the region of interest from, uh, given by this rpn and it will uh, predict the category of the image as well as uh, it will create a uh, accurate, precise 2D cube head. After which uh, we have a 3D cube head. This will take the input from the backbone feature map and it will create a 3D cube cuboid like the one which we are seeing in the image for the detected 2D objects from the image. This is how this framework 
framework works. Yeah, the backbone for this uh, model is faster RCNN model, which we all know. Uh, the RPN, which we uh, saw in the image, which, uh, this will predict the region of interest. And uh, as we all know, 2D box head, which analyzes the uh, region of interest and predict the 2D bounding box. Now we have added uh, a 3D box head at the last step where it will create the cuboid, uh, like the one which we are seeing in image for all the detected 2D objects. So the existing faster RCNN uh, is, has been modified to the cube RCNN by three major steps. We have replaced the binary classifier in RPN which predict the objectness, that is uh, whether that's object or not, with a regressor that predicts the intersection of union. And also we have uh, spoke about this 3D cuboid, which we have added at the last step, uh, which will create this 3D cuboid for the detected 2D objects. Here uh, in the third step, we are going to speak about the virtual depth. Uh, this will enable us to use data augmentation and many things which improves the accuracy and performance of the model, which we are going to speak in the later steps. Cube head. Uh, in the faster RCNN model, we have added a, a thing called a, a step called 3D cuboid or the cube head. This cube head generally, uh, it has a 13 important parameters uh, which we need to calculate uh, to make the final 3D cuboid. So speaking of which, we have U, V, which represents the projected 3D center, Z and R, which represents object center depth, W, H, L are nothing but width, height, and length that will be log normalized. That is the 3D cuboids width, height, and length respectively. And uh, mu r is the predicted 3D uncertainty. Now uh, for the, uh, the uh, 3D cuboid, we need a uh, object's 3D center. This object 3D center is determined by this equation, x of u comma v comma z, uh, where rx, rw, ry, and rh are calculated using the uh, 2D boxes that is found using the 2D cube head and fx and fy are the focal length. Also the px and py are the pri uh, principal point. So here uh, uh, we need a dimension for the 3D cuboid boxes for the detected uh, 2D objects. Uh, so the dimension of the 3D cuboid box is found using this equation where WHL are width, height, and length respectively. Here, uh, you can also see W0, H0, L0. These are the pre-computed means. So we need to incorporate into this equation to find that. So as we've seen in the before slides, we have found D of WHL and X of UV and Z. By incorporating this in the final equation, we can, uh, uh, see how the cuboid is generated for the detected 2D objects. RP is nothing but rotation of object. Laos. Uh, we have uh, taken uh, the 2D losses from the regional proposal network as well as 2D box set and the 3D box head. Uh, so in this equation, uh, we have incorporated the, the loss of regional proportional network, 2D loss as well as 3D loss to determine the uh, collective uh, loss of the cube bar CNN model. Ritual depth. Uh, this is an important thing uh, which we see in, uh, in the uh, before slide. That's a three important step which converts, uh, which uh, differentiate from the faster RCNN with the cube RCNN model. So ritual depth is nothing but uh, 
uh, it is used to maintain an effective image height and the focal length, which we usually call as uh, the virtual height and the virtual focal length. So in this equation, uh, Z will be known as a true metric depth. Uh, F is a focal length and uh, image height would be H. So out of which we can calculate the virtual depth. This virtual depth concept, uh, we are uh, incorporating it in our model. This will allow us to use the, uh, the data augmentation. So how the model is created. Uh, this model, cube RCNN model, is uh, built using Directron 2 and PyTorch 3D. We have trained the model using 128 epochs. Uh, each of the ba a batch size of 192 images. We have also used a uh, stochastic gradient descent with the learning rate of 0 0.12. Also, uh, with the help of the virtual depth concept, which we saw in the last slide, we have enabled uh, data augmentation uh, with the horizontal flipping. So we have an angle of 0 0.50 and 1.25 for horizontal flipping. So these are the things used to create the model. And for uh, determining the performance, we have taken average precision, precision as the metric. Here, the predictions are matched uh, by uh, measuring their uh, intersection of union with uh, the intersection of union over the 3D cupoids by replacing the 2D. So let's see in this step. Uh, model performance. Here, the cube RCNN model is compared with uh, the average pressure of uh, two different thresholds, that is 25 and 50. We have also considered the objects that are near, medium, and far, uh, among which we can also see our model is the best performing one with the scores below. Here we have uh, taken different data set that is a popular, existing popular data set uh, this, this data set are uh, the one that is performing better in the domain specific also. So we have compared our uh, cube or CNN model with the Omni 3D data set with these uh, data set with their best performing models, out of which we can clearly see the cube or CNN model is performing better. Few important notable performance are uh, the virtual depth concept, which we spoke before. Uh, it actually helped uh, the model to improve its performance by almost six percentage of uh, six percentage. Uh, when we incorporate uh, this model in Omni 3D dataset alone, we can see uh, the best performance because it has the largest variance. So this type of data set will be more accurate. Um, because of the virtual depth concept, uh, we have used the scale augmentation. By, by doing so, we have uh, increased the training uh, by 3.1 percentage of accuracy in Omni 3D data set and uh, 2.7 on Omni 3D in, in and out or nothing but uh, the indoor and outdoor. Uh, so we have improved the accuracy on that particular data set also. So Cube or CNN model uh, is the best model. Uh, actually that outperforms all the competitive existing method uh, for detecting the 3D object. So now uh, to conclude, we can say that uh, Omni 3D dataset uh, is the existing best dataset irrespective of domain. It is the best dataset uh, and a large dataset to detect the 3D object. Also, uh, this uh, cube RCNN model is the best model on the Omni 3D dataset. Uh, because it has outperformed all the existing popular data set and the algorithms uh, to detect the 3D objects from the given 2D image. Yeah, thank you. If you have any questions, I'm open for it.